up guys and welcome back to another video this is not like a gaming video or anything like that it's completely different guys we're doing a tutorial for the first time ever on this channel it's actually gonna be a tutorial it's gonna be a 5ms app posting tutorial on how to actually put in a custom loading screen and uh, edit the loading screen to make it with or to put uh, your stuff on it um, and also if you guys are running uh, 5 PD you can actually uh, put the custom loading screen over 5 PD so that's that's all gonna be shown in this video but uh, some things you're gonna need first are gonna be your of course you're gonna need your your um, your uh, server so I have mine off of that posting you can do it the same way if you have if you're doing it off of a, um, a hosted server on your computer but I'm um, this for this tutorial it's gonna be off of that posting um, you're gonna need a uh, loading screen folder thing like I've got I've downloaded this one off the internet I'll put a link below it's pretty good uh, for instance I'll show you uh, what the base one looks like before I'll edit it um, this is what it looks like when it's all edited so you can put a video and stuff on the background of it um, but of course you can change all the rules and stuff but you're gonna need something like that of course it comes with a readme in this um, but uh, yeah, it comes with a discord as well but uh, with that being said, we're gonna start uh, the first process. So the first thing you're gonna want is once you get your, you're gonna, well, you're gonna want Winmar. But once you get Winmar, drag it onto your desktop. See, it's gonna be right there. And then you're gonna want to edit it with Notepad++. Um, what we're gonna do is while we're editing, I'm gonna show you what each thing does. So let me go ahead and open Volume Mixer. We're gonna move this down. All right, so we put them side by side here we can actually get rid of that we have the notepad side by side uh, under what all these things do so the first thing is see x life loading screen or loading screen x life that's going to be the the name of the, the loading screen so you can change this to uh we'll do test server yeah we'll do test server's name of loading screen so that'll change that We'll scroll down a little bit here. This is going to be your video stuff. That can all be in a, another video if you guys want me to do that. Sometimes the video doesn't work. Sometimes it does. You have to change the video ID and all that stuff. Uh, we're going to scroll down here. This X-Life copy thing, you can change that to test test server. Basically, the, everything with the copy, you're going to want to change it to the same exact thing. So test server. The co I'll show you what the copy does. The copy is actually this right here. See X Life 2020, and then X Life 2020. When you when you change that, it'll actually say test server on that. So we'll continue to scroll down here. You'll see you have this, this, these, uh, whatever this is. I don't know how to speak Spanish. This is actually going to be where my hover, my mouse is hovering over. So it's all going to be this. You see how this uh, fades? So you could do for all three. You could do uh, we'll do test, and then we'll do server. And then we'll just do, I don't know, role play or something. So that'll change all that. Uh, same thing with this. Okay, this is this right here is where your uh, your server name is going to be. So you're going to change this one. You're going to want to do test server. This is going to be your big middle one. Just same thing as uh, this one up here. So we'll do whatever we did this one right here, this title. That's what this is going to be. Test server, so test server. And then we're going to keep scrolling down here. The rules. This is very simple. This is the rules tab right here. I'm not going to change any of it except for I'm going to get rid of this. This is the, if I get rid of the first line, that's actually going to be the white over here. And I'm going to want to keep the background, the background hard gray one. So I'm going to change that one to rules and you'll see it'll turn to rules. And then we can just, for instance, we'll just do test on one of, on all of these. And you see right here, this is, you can change this to, to rules as well. This right here is going to be your headline for each rule box. So we'll change all these as well to, to rules, rules, rules. This one's going to be rules. Easy peasy. We'll change this one. We'll change this to test as well. We'll change this to, to test because why not? But you can change all these to your server rules. You can just put them in on each line. We'll do this one uh, rules as well. And then as we continue to go down, you see we'll have the credits and development tab. So that's going to be this right here. So same thing. If you want to get rid of the credits, you want to go ahead and whatever's in front, get rid of that and keep development. So it'll keep the gray in the back. And then, for instance, uh, for Discord, I'm gonna my Discord is Wolfsy, so I'm gonna put Wolfsy under here. If you want to add more, just copy it, just copy this whole line and then just paste it underneath the third one. You can add more, more uh, developers and admin stuff like that. So we'll just do, for instance, this isn't my actual tag. 
do Wolfsy, and then I've got a I've got a friend named Hook, so we'll do we'll do Hook, and then we'll just pretend like his numbers are zero one four, and then we'll do Hook as well. And he's actually an admin, so we'll do admin here. And then once that, I mean, that's pretty much pretty much it. You just got to go and find it for each one. Um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna hit save now. So we'll hit save. This should save it. We'll close out of this. We'll open back our winnower up, and then we're gonna drag this into here. You're gonna want to hit OK. And then when we load it up, go ahead and get rid of open volume mixer. As you can see, now we've got our our server test server roleplay. We've got all that. We've got our rules tab. Uh, it got rid of the the uh, white, and it kept these rules. You see, we got test, test, test. Rules one, rules two, rules three. Beautiful. We'll do credits. Same thing, development. Here we go, Wolf's Hook. So basically, you just changed all of the the names uh, with Notepad++ or Notepad. So once you finish that, you can back out of here, or you can hit Backspace uh, right here. You're going to want to hit Test Loading Screen. You actually want to hit Extract this specific folder. I like to do Desktop. I'll hit OK. Once that extracts, you're going to want to open up your FileZilla. So I'm actually going to want to, uh, if you don't know how to go to your server, I'll show you how to go to your server. Uh, my password obviously isn't going to be shown here. Uh, you're going to find your, your service. It's going to be this one, GTA 5, server data, resources. So once you get in here, you're going to want to refresh right here. If you already have it open, you're going to want to find your test server loading 2. So right here, test loading 2, you're going to want to hit upload. And while that's uploading, what I like to do is I like to go and run to this server.cfg and go ahead and change. This was my old loading screen, so go ahead and change this to... Test Server 2, I believe is the name of it. Test Loading 2 is what it's going to be called. So, Test Loading 2, and I like to hit Save. Easy peasy. Alright, easy peasy. I go ahead and full screen this real quick. There we go. Um, Alright, so once that's in, you can go ahead and start up your server. let that start up you're going to want to restart it as well so restart is very easy on zap posting you'll just hit restart so right there once that pops up i'll hold that down you want to hit restart execute and you're going to want to copy this and so while that copies it uh, we're going to load up into 5m 5m there it is beautiful just like that Marvelous. Let this load up. History. Just wait for it to load up. You can continue putting it in until. Uh, there you go. So, four to five D test server. Downloading content. Let that load. And as you can see, we have our loading screen on here, so it works. If you follow my exact directions, it works. So what we're going to do next is we're going to hit, I'm going to go on the console, I'm going to type disconnect. I'm going to alt F4 out of that. And now the next thing you're going to want to do, if you have 5PD, so 5PD is very, very, uh, very, very, very different. X on here. We're going to go back to FileZilla. I'm not going to show you how to install 5PD. There's videos on how to install that. You can always look it up. But once you get 5PD in here and you load up, you're going to want to load up your loading screen first before 5PD. So if you do have 5PD, you're going to want to uninstall it or save it real quick. Load up your loading screen first. Let the server run it. And then um, after that, shut off the server and then re-put 5PD back in. So you'll hit upload. Let all that run real quick. I won't catch you guys when it is. All right. So once you got your 5PD in, you're going to want to open it up right here. You're going to want to delete your index HTML out of this, so you'll hit delete, yes. In Lua, you're going to want to hit view slash edit. Uh, if it gives you this action perform, uh, you'll just hit open local file or whatever. Mine's a little bit different because my file's already been edited. So I'm going to hit discard local file, then download, edit a new file, we'll hit OK. So we'll have all this stuff in here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove this index HTML right there, and then you're going to want to move all of this so you don't see loading screen anymore. You're going to hit save, easy, just like that. Uh, you guys can pause the video and see what I did. I basically just removed that from this line and the 
loading screen from there. You're gonna wanna hit yes. Beautiful. Now once that's in, you can go back to your zap posting. If you don't already have 5PD loaded up like I do, I already have it set up here, start 5PD. So we'll do it again, we'll do start. If you're using your local, might be unsure, but mine's start. Start 5PD, save. Easy, just like that. Hit, hit the start button on the server. Now, just to let you know, I don't actually have all my database stuff set up, but uh, I'll show you that the 5PD actually did load. It's just, I don't have all the database stuff set up, so I'm not gonna be able to um, to uh, actually like load into 5PD, the game itself. I can still load into the game with 5PD installed, but you have to do all that database stuff by yourself. And again, this isn't a tutorial on how to install 5PD, this is just a tutorial on how to remove the 5PD loading screen and add your custom one. So uh, if you guys do want me to create a 5PD tutorial though, do let me know. So while that's restarting, all right, cool. We'll go into here, we'll go to 5M. This is my Discord server. If you guys want to join in, I'll leave a link below. Uh, again, this is where you're going to get your support and stuff like that. And also if you want to join my 5PD server. <laughs> all right. Let's start, history, connect, say so 5PD is loading, and there we go, look at that, your loading screen will load over 5PD, just like that, very simple. Rules, say, I mean you can see all of this works, just like that, that's basically how you're going to remove it, uh, remove 5PD and put your own custom in. I'm gonna actually hit disconnect because I'm not trying to I'm not trying to uh, load in and all that stuff. Now, if you do if you do end up doing it wrong though, um, and you like the video didn't work or something like that, you can actually go ahead and like I said, you could join my Discord server. Um, but uh, with that being said, guys, I mean, I was pretty much it. I, I messed up a lot on this, but only because my first time making a tutorial. But um, yeah, it'll be all edited out and it'll, it'll look really nice. But uh, with that being said, guys, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and if you need technical support or just want to play on a 5PD server, you guys can join my server. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.